Good morning guys. Back in Hanoi, Vietnam. Just in the local hood. Actually, I'm uh, heading to the local barber while avoiding the motorbikes. It's not only a footpath, it's a road as well. And a restaurant. And a supermarket. You can buy all sorts of goods here in uh, Hanoi, Vietnam. Anyway guys, we're going to head this way. This is the local tip. Bring all your rubbish here, dump it in here. Check out some of the uh, old architecture here. Anyway, we're going to walk down a bit further to the barber. This lady here sells really good pineapples. Later, I'll come back later, okay? I'm going to come back this way anyway and I'll grab some uh, pineapples from her. They're really nice and they're about a dollar fifty New Zealand which is 20,000 Vietnam dong. One barber guy here. But I'll show you the guy that I use. Hopefully he's there. He's a really good guy. But we've got to walk a bit further along. Anyway guys. It is another sunny day in Hanoi, Vietnam. We've had like a week of sunny weather after having months of rain because of the monsoon weather. But now it's uh, autumn. So uh, it's really good that uh, we can get some sunshine. But along with the sunshine is a lot of uh, polluted smog, uh, which is why I got one of these air fin filters. Uh, they're really good to put over uh, your mouth and nose for respiratory purposes. Um, they're about 50,000 dong, which is around $3 in New Zealand. Actually, the uh, AQI here in Hanoi is very high. AQI is uh, the air quality index and um, last week Hanoi was the most polluted in the world um, they say a lot of it comes from uh, the northern winds from China and from the farmers burning a lot of uh, stuff out there in the farms and paddocks but I think a lot of it also is contributional from the motorbikes that are here and um, Vietnam uh, so yeah this is just a little glimpse of the local life here and there you go people cooking barbecues I guess that kind of like um, contributes towards some of the uh, smog that we get here I mean it's not clear clear here but you can see some of the um, the smog out there in the distance. It's another uh, another barber over here. Quite a few barbers along this uh, strip. You got uh, places that fix air conditioning units, uh, shops for children, stationery. You've even got a little play area for volleyball that I sometimes play over there. They play good volleyball. We've got more people cooking barbecues. So the barbecue areas here are uh, very popular, all the barbecue restaurants. They like to barbecue their stuff. places that fix TVs I mean you can see how crazy the motorbikes are here people just drive anywhere and anywhere I'm used to that now in uh, 
and all Vietnam. It sometimes becomes a habit when you're driving a motorbike here to kind of follow some of the Vietnamese going through red lights and going the wrong way along the streets and onto the pavement sometimes it can be quite crazy but you got to get somewhere and like it's real busy during peak times anyway we're gonna walk up a bit further and see if the barber man's here it's a local hardware shop good guys bought a couple of uh, tools from that place happy money wish we all had happy money Xinjiang got some of the lovely ladies here uh, selling their fruit off their motorbikes that's their like little business that they have got to give it up to the men they're trying to make a living so they try and do the best that they can there's no social uh, benefit system here it's every man for himself so you've got to give it up to the man they're doing a really good job Hello, my friend. YouTube, YouTube. This is the guy that uh, gives me really good haircuts. Street haircut. Put the bag here. Okay. Let's have the mop chop. Cut, cut, cut. Bit of an outdoor barber in the alleyway. Okay, okay, okay. Need to get a bit of a mop chop. I think he knows the drill. It's really hot today too guys, so sweating a little bit. Should ask him his name, right? What's your name? What's your name, sir? Tenko Banglazi, Tenko Banglazi. Ah, Kang, Kang. Kang? Kang. Kang, Mr. Kang. Oh, yeah. Mr. Kang. How, how old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Papa Nyu Toy, Papa Nyu Toy. Bunni Ba Toy. Bun. Bun Ba. Bun Ba. 42. 42. Bun Ba, 42. Very good. Young, young. <laughs> I think his wife owns the chemist just over here. There's a chemist behind us. I think they're shut now because usually they have a nap around this time. Let me get the mic out. I've got my mic underneath this here. So you can hear me better. There we go. Actually, I'll put the mic a little bit up here. That's better. So behind is the chemist, his wife usually runs the chemist. And uh, he does all the outside uh, haircuts. Where he makes all the guys look handsome. Street barber, street barber. Even the shaves too, yeah, yeah, yeah. shave the moustache or your beard. Looks like Grandpa's watching, keeping an eye on the, uh, on making sure he's doing a good job. So guys, if you ever come to Vietnam, you've got to give you a, a street haircut. I normally just get a zero, what this guy's giving me. I'm not sure if he's, he does designs as well.
job so far. I think he's just shaved 10 years off. Well, but really good bummer. Behind me is an alleyway where they've got like markets, bakery, fruit, meat, beef. I'm not sure about dog. Expense for barbers is due to the premises and location. But if you like this guy, you uh, cut on the street, I guess it's a lot cheaper. Hey, it's an authentic background and an authentic environment. You haircut, haircut, haircut. I don't think he needs a haircut, that guy. Very good. Yes, and here. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm just gonna cut, cut a bit, put a that off, a bit smoother. And uh, on my hair. Oh, so we're gonna do the lie back styles. Very good, very good. Very handsome. Tip chai, tip chai. <laughs> tip chai, handsome. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Even the old man, he agrees. Oh. Now, bao nyu tien, bao nyu tien. 30,000, 30, is that all? 30,000, so that's $2. We we'll won't even worry about it, we'll give him a hundred. Okay! So this is the location where you want to come and get yourself a... Uh, here, come, come to this location. Over here. Oh, you keep, you keep. For you. No problem. No problem. No problem. Before you. Good haircut, thank you. Thank you. Very good, so give him a hundred thousand, I mean. It's like six bucks. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> Two dollars for a haircut, but I gave him like a hundred thousand. So I mean, it's, it's not much really. Like two dollars for a really good haircut. I don't know how they make money here, man, but... Anyway, he was happy with what he got there, so... He does a really good job, man. Shave, cut, and a pretty good smile. Anyway, guys, I'm jumping back on my motorbike.